The Paradox of Hurry Up and Wait Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to unravel the intriguing phrase, hurry up and wait. This saying might seem contradictory at first, but it's packed with meaning and is widely used in everyday English. So, let's dive in and discover the rich context behind this phrase. Hurry up and wait is an idiomatic expression that describes a situation where someone is rushed to complete a task or to get to a place, only to then have to wait upon arrival. The phrase captures the frustration and irony of being in a hurry initially, but then facing an unexpected delay. This phrase is believed to have originated in the military. Soldiers are often required to rush to complete tasks, move quickly to new positions, or be ready for action at a moment's notice. However, after hurrying, they might find themselves waiting for orders, supplies, or the next course of action. This juxtaposition of rushing and waiting is where the phrase gains its meaningful contrast. Hurry up and wait isn't limited to the military, it's used in various contexts. In the workplace, employees may rush to meet a deadline, only to find the project is put on hold. In healthcare, patients might rush to arrive early for an appointment, then wait a long time to be seen by a doctor. In entertainment, actors or crew members often rush to be on set on time, only to wait hours for their turn to perform. In all these situations, the phrase humorously highlights the inefficiency and time-wasting aspect of the scenario. While it may seem like a simple phrase, hurry up and wait, subtly criticizes systems or organizations that are disorganized or inefficient. It points out the irony of rushing, which leads to more stress and effort, without the benefit of saving time. Understanding this phrase gives learners insight into the frustration that can be inherent in certain systems or processes. Hurry up and wait is more than just a phrase. It's a commentary on the ironic situations we often find ourselves in. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate the nuances of this unique expression. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the culture and experiences they reflect. Happy learning, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.